Tonight's prep profile comes from Minster High School, where the Lady Wildcats will play for a regional championship and a trip to state tomorrow down at Vandalia Butler against Jackson Center. And the leader for the MAC champions is the Midwest Athletic Conference and Northwest District Player of the Year, Rosie Westerbeck, who teamed with the Cincinnati Reds for her Red Wagon campaign this year, collecting and distributing toys to kids at Dayton Children's Hospital. The reason I created this was when I was younger, I was in the hospital at Dayton Children's. And I just remember uh, the care that they gave me there was phenomenal. It just made me feel at home and comfortable because being in there as a kid is super scary. You don't know what's going on. Youth Leadership Association, we did uh, the Red Wagon campaign again and we got 14 Red Wagons and the entire town helped us fill it up and we donated thousands of toys to the kids there and we actually arranged for the Reds to come along with us. The Reds caravan overlapped the exact same day we were going to uh, visit the kids so I asked them if they would accompany us and they willingly did and it's actually going to become part of their uh, Reds caravan visit every year. Rosie gives a lot you know she she um, um, tries to give as much as she can to others give of herself and that idea is uh, tremendous in the the effort that she has you know I get tried to give to other people you know she's not about, all about herself. Usually I'm the one being right right involved visiting with the kids but it was super neat to be a part of an experience where I got to kind of play the background and see the other people being able to interact with the kids and seeing how they talk to them and what questions they ask them and how they uh, connected with them because it's you know it's a little bit difficult you don't know really what to say to the kids when they're in the hospital but all you can be is encouraging and it was cool to see other people and how they were encouraging to them and kind of see it from the background. And the seniors always encouraging on the court as well. Rosie has been uh, a huge influence in what we do on the basketball floor. Uh, obviously, ball handling, scoring, the defense that she brings to the floor. The biggest thing is the energy. You know, the, the rest of the uh, the team feeds off of it. You know, they feed off some of the, a lot of the other girls, and the idea of being able to create energy when Minster needs it the most defensively especially. Our defense creates our offense, and that's what we preach. But recently a hand injury has hampered all that Westerbeck is used to being able to do on the floor. Patience. <laughs> you know, it's difficult to experience an injury. Um, it's really frustrating mentally and obviously physically, but through the journey, um, you know, the, a few weeks ago I realized you know, an injury doesn't have to be uh, the worst thing in the world. It, you know, it's a great opportunity for me to sit on the bench and to view the game from a different perspective. And that's definitely what God has taught me, uh, you know, to value the injuries and value the troubles that you face.